Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your third time here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a very beautiful dress that definitely going to be one of your summer outfits. But before we start, I just want to say that because I learned sewing by myself, so some of my techniques might be not correct or in a professional way. But it worked for me and I just want to share it with you. So I would love to hear more feedback from you guys. It would help me to improve my sewing skill. And besides that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so we can see each other every week. And let's get started. I use one and a half meters of cotton fabric in floral printing for this DIY. The first step is making the top of the dress. I cut two rectangles with 20 cm length, which is the length that can cover your breast, and 80 cm width, which is your bust side minus 2 cm. I draw a straight line at the middle of the rectangle foot. Then from this line, I draw another two straight lines at two sides of it with 21 cm width, which is a quarter of my bust side plus 1 cm for seam allowance. So the width between two new straight lines will be a half of my bust side plus 2 cm for seam allowance. After that, I make two marks at two sides of the middle straight line, 13 cm. So the width between two marks will be 26 cm, which is the width between two breasts plus 4 cm. At two straight lines outside, I mark at 7 cm from the top, then connect to the mask I just made before that at the same side to create the underarm big line for the top. On the land line, I mark at the middle, then connect it to the underarm big line. Based on this line, I draw a curved line to create the line from the top to under the ambic and to the back. I make two new straight lines at 12 cm from the middle straight line, which is a half of the width between two breasts plus 1 cm. So after cutting, I can fold the fabric at this line. I'm making a curved line at this folding to create the bust area for the top. The curvature of this line will depend on your breast if it's big or not. After sewing, I fold the line at the underarm big foot. Then I sew from the top to 1 cm inside the end to make the under bust side of the top fit my body. Checking on the measurements of your top in the end to make sure they are correct. Then you can connect two pieces of the top together. Now, I'm connecting one end of one strap to one edge of the top, then sewing. Mm. 
After upsizing, we will have the top of the dress. Moving to the bottom of the dress, I cut a big rectangle with 80 cm length, which is the length from the underbutt to over the knee, and 92 cm width, which is my hip side. At one width line, I make a loose seam first, then I create the gather fabric there later. The final width of the gather fabric will be 37cm, which is a half of my underbust side plus 2cm for seam allowance. And it will be the front part of the bottom dress. To make the back part of the bottom dress, I cut another big rectangle with 82cm length, which is 2cm longer than the front part, and 92cm width, which is the same with the front part. At one width line, I measure the elastic band I will use to create the fabric hole there first. Then I use the elastic band with 1.5cm width and 37cm length which is a half of my underbust side plus 2cm for seam allowance. After putting the elastic band through the fabric hole, so two ends of it to permanent them there. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the bottom part together at two sides, then sewing. At the end of the bottom dress, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew to finish it. It's time to connect the top and the bottom of the dress together. I connect the front part of the bottom dress to one piece of the top dress foot. After sewing, I fold the other piece of the top dress over the first seam, then make the second seam over the first one to connect two pieces of the top dress to the front part of the bottom dress. So the back part of the bottom dress will be open.
The last step is making the traffic hole at two ends of the top part. So the strap can go to it and help you to tie the top of the dress to your body when wearing. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This dress is like a summer calling. The floral painting makes it so fresh. And the kind of open back design makes it just perfect for a hot summer day. So I hope you will try it out. See you next week.